today we are going to be doing a low impact cardio workout. So let's get started with a warm up. First, let's start with an overhead reach. Nice and easy here. Now, remember, if you're just easing in after the holidays from a little break from working out, take pauses at any time, water breaks whenever you need them. Let's go into a chest opener and catch your breath at any point. Now, all of these exercises will be low impact, but there will be a bit of squatting. So if that's tough on your knees, you can squat a little shallower, which is also an option. Or you can avoid the squat entirely and just do the upper body portion of the movement. Let's take this into a hamstring curl. So let's curl and pull, squeezing those shoulder blades back, kicking the heels up toward the back of the thigh, getting nice and warm through the upper and lower body, squeezing those hamstrings. Now let's take this into a high knee crossover. We're gonna cross it over. So we're gonna be going into 20 second intervals four different exercises, and we're going to do them twice in a row for a two minute or two minute and 40 second round. Nice deep breathing. Keep it up and shake it out. All right, let's get started with our first round. Our first move is going to be a side to side W, pulling our shoulder blades back, followed by ladder climbs with that upper body shifting your weight. Then we've got repeatedly with the twist. So we're going to knee up, core twist, knee up, core twist. And then we'll switch and do it over to the other side, knee up, core twist. All right, let's get ready. So side to side Ws on our first round. We're gonna start by stepping to the right, alternating side. So let's get those arms up, ready? Here we go, right, left, that's it. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep that chest lifted. We're pulling the shoulder blades back. Now with this one, you can go low or high. You can go a little lower here, get those legs working. Higher if you want it easy on the knees. Let's get ready to go to those ladder climbs in two. One, let's pull, pull, that's it. Shift your weight, keep it light on the feet. You can lift your heels, but try to keep those toes connected to the floor and pull. You're pulling yourself up rung by rung. Almost there, we're gonna go repeat our knee, we're gonna turn to the right, repeat our knee, and twist. We're gonna go up with the knee, twist with the arm. Up with the knee, twist with the arm, that's it. You got it, twist, knee, twist, that's it. Push through this, breathe through, chop with those arms, keep it going. We're gonna get ready to turn over to the other side in two. One, let's turn, knee, twist, that's it. Knee, twist, you got it. Breathing through this. Now remember, we're going straight back to the top for another round. But on this round, we're going to start with that left side, starting with the W's, stepping to the left in two. One, here we go. Left, right, that's it. Left, right, you got it. So this round, we're starting left side. Keep this up. Breathing through it. Go low, go high, whatever feels right for your knees. Totally your call. Get ready for those ladder climbs in two. One, let's go. Climb. Pulling. Down from the ceiling. Shifting your weight through your core and your feet. Breathe. Work those upper back and shoulder muscles. You got it. Now we're going to go repeat our knee with the twist. We're starting on that left side. Let's turn left. Here we go. Knee. Twist. That's it. Knee. Twist. That's it. Keep it up. Breathe through this. You can do it. Push yourself. Breathe through. Light on those feet. In four, three, two, let's switch. Here we go. Knee, twist, knee, twist. This is our last one. Keep breathing. Nice and easy. Light on the feet and knees. Twisting. It's a bit of a pull with those arms. That's it. Chop to the side. You're almost there. Woo. All right, shake it out. Grab a water break. We're going to go to our next round. So I'm going to demo for you here. March with the shoulder raise. So we're going to start out with a march. Now we're going to add our arms. We're going to go up, up, down, down. That's it. Up, up, down, down. That's our first move. So 
Following that, we've got two arm rows. We're gonna go nice and wide, and we're gonna pull, pull, that's it. Then we've got a single squat with a touchdown. Now, for this one, if you're not interested in doing a full squat, that's okay. You can go into a, a small knee bend here. But for this, I'm gonna reach down with my right arm and extend the left arm out. So I'm staying balanced and square through my shoulders. And we're gonna switch, same move, other side. All right, let's get ready. You can do it. March with the shoulder raise to start. Whew, let's get ready here. So light feet, light knees. We're gonna start with our arms down. Now this one, I like to flip my palms up. Ready? Here we go, let's march. Raise, raise, down, down, that's it. Raise, raise, down, down. Keep it up, raise. Raise, on those raises, I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together. In five, we're gonna plant our feet wide and go to those two arm rows. You ready? Here we go. Row, row, that's it. Pull, squeeze. Direct your elbows pointing 45 degrees down toward the floor. Pull through the mid back and shoulders. Use your feet to rock. But once again, keep those toes connected to the floor. All right, we're gonna reach down with that right arm into our squat. Here we go. Reach and up, reach and up. Remember, you don't have to go all the way down. If you're staying in a shallower squat, you can go at a faster pace. Breathe through this. Try to keep that arm parallel to the floor. We're gonna switch in three, two, one. Here we go. Reach down and up, down and up, and up. You don't have to go all the way to the floor wherever you're comfortable with. Keep that arm extended. That helps to keep the shoulders square. Breathe through this. We're gonna take our feet narrow in five with that march plus a shoulder raise. Get ready, here we go. March, arms at the side, let's go up, up, down, down. You can have your palms facing up or down on this one. Whatever feels right for your shoulders. Try to stand tall, lift through the chest. Breathe through it. Get ready for those two arm rows. We're gonna go wide with the feet. Here we go. Let's row. Pull. Pull. That's it. Squeeze through the mid back and shoulders. It's an explosive pulling movement. You got it. Squeezing through that mid back. Now we're gonna keep this wide foot position. This time we're gonna go left. So our right arm is out. Left arm reaching down. Here we go. Reach. That's it. Now, you might find, as your legs are more warmed up, you might be able to go a little deeper on this side. That's okay, do whatever feels right for you. Breathe through it, keep it going, keep it going. Push through, get ready for the other side. Here we go, switch. That's it. Keep that other arm extended out, try to keep it parallel to the floor, don't let it drop down. Focus on your posture, shoulders stay square. Last push, five more seconds. Breathing, you can do it. Ooh, all right, grab a water break here. I'm gonna take it to our next round. So, catch your breath. Stay hydrated. We're going into cross country skiers. Now, for this one, it's going to be like a tricep with a ski. So we're going to extend back through that upper arm. Following that, side to side heel jacks. Then, We've got a single hamstring curl with a lateral raise, followed by the other side, single ham curl, lateral raise. Let's get ready. All right. Whew. 10 seconds to prepare here. Catch your breath. We're going into those cross country skiers. Three, two, one. Let's go. Extend through that tricep and sweep your foot side to side as though you're pushing off with your skis. Don't let your elbows drop down. I want you to focus on what those triceps are doing. Breathing through it. We're gonna go into our heel jacks. We're gonna start with the right foot out in two, one. Here we go, right, left, that's it. Now with this one, if you want to get a little lower, you can stay up high, easier on the knees, whatever you like. Breathe through it. Lift through those arms, squeeze through the shoulders. We've got a single hamstring curl with a lateral raise, just the right side. Here we go. That's it. Pull, pull, you got it. Squeezing, kicking that heel 
toward the back of the thigh and raising through that shoulder. Keep this up. <sighs> nice and low, bending through that left leg. You're ready to switch sides in two. One, here we go, other side. Lift through that shoulder, squeeze. Go your own pace here. Go as low as in a bend on that right knee as what feels right for you. Keep this up. We got another round coming up in five, starting off with our cross country skiers. Here we go. Extend through that tricep and kick that leg out to the side as though you're pushing off with your skis. Use those arms. Don't let your elbows drop. Breathe through it. That's it, five more seconds. We're gonna go back to those heel jacks. We're starting with our left leg out. Here we go, left, right, left, right, that's it. Keep pushing. Squeeze to the shoulders on that jack. You can do it. Then we're gonna take it into our single hamstring curls. This time we're going over to the left leg. Here we go, left side. Kick it up and pull. Pull, that's it. Squeeze through the back of the thigh, pulling the heel up toward the back of the leg. You can do it. Five more seconds, and we're going to switch it out in two. One, here we go, other side. Last one on this round. Keep it up, keep it up. Stay low if you can. Breathe. You got this. Squeeze that shoulder every single rep. You're almost there. Five seconds to go. Last push, last push. Two, one, and shake it out. Grab a water break. We'll go to our next round. Ooh, all right. Let's do dip and reach. So for this one, we're going to dip down and reach up. And the dip is totally up to you. You want to keep this higher? That's fine, you want to go lower, more like a squat, that's all right too. Then we've got a core twist with a pullback, with our feet planted, followed by a knee tap squat. Again, you don't want to do the full squat here. You can stay up high. Want to make it tougher? Down low. Then we're going to switch sides. All right, let's get ready here. Breathe through this, catch your breath. We're going into our next round. Ooh, so, dip and reach. Let's get ready in three, two, one. Here we go, dip and reach, dip and reach. That's it. Do as much of a dip as you're comfortable with. Keep breathing through this. You can do it. Push through. In five, we're going into our core twist pullback. We're gonna plant our feet, arms out. Let's go right, left, right left, pulling that shoulder blade back, breathe, exhale, turn your head so that your nose is over top of your thumb, pointing in the same direction, let's go single knee tap squats, right side, here we go, the depth is up to you, that's it, stay, stay low in a semi squatting position if you like, a little higher, if you want to keep it easier on the hips and knees, it's up to you, your workout. We're going to switch sides in two, one. Here we go, other side. That's it. Really leaning into this. We want to keep tension on the anchor leg that's on the floor. Keep pushing here. You can do it. Dip and reach. Coming up in five, three, two, one. Here we go. We're going to dip, reach, dip. Reach, that's it. Go as low or as high as you want. If you're going higher, you might fit in a few more reaches so you don't have to go at the same pace. Do what feels right for you. Keep it up, keep it up. Core twist, pull, pull back, starting on the left. Here we go, left, right, left, right, that's it. You got it. Pull through that shoulder blade. Breathe through this. Explosive pulling motion. Every rep working that shoulder and the upper back. Left leg, here we go. Touch the hands to the leg here. Now, even though we're doing a left leg raise, really the tension is all in that right leg here. 
Keep this up. That's it. Keep pushing. In three, we're going to the other side. Two. One other side. Let's go. Stay low if you can. Up higher. You need a little rest. Keep this up. You're almost there. Ten seconds to go. Last push on this round. You can do it. You got this. You got this. Rest. Whew. All right, grab some water. Catch your breather. We're going to go punch this round. So, we're going to start out with a heel jack punch. We're going to be alternating. Following that, we've got a pop up squat. And again, the depth is up to you. If you want to keep this more shallow, you can also do a step back with that arm pop up. Then we've got right side punches, left side punches. Let's get ready. So we're going into punching jacks. So we're going to step out with the right as we punch with the right. Let's get ready. Here we go, alternate sides. Left, right, left, right, that's it. Explosive punching movement, breathe. You can do it. Now remember, for that pop-up squat coming up next, if you need to do a lower impact option, go ahead and step back. Here we go. We're gonna pop up, reach, pop up, reach. You can do alternating step backs with a reach. If that's more comfortable for your hips and knees, keep this going. Heart rate up. We're tucking in on the squat and then exploding up. Get ready for right arm punches in two. One, here we go, just the right side. I like to pivot a little bit on that anchor foot. Put my weight into it. That's it. Straight down the line. Throw your weight into those punches. Strong reps. Get ready for the other side. Here we go, left side. That's it. You can do it. Pivot on that toe to throw your weight in. Use that upper back. You can do this. Now we're going to go to our alternating jack punches. That left side is coming out first. Left, right, left, right. Here we go. That's it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Get that heart rate up. Every single breath. You got it. Pop-up squats are coming up next. Remember that step back option is there for you. Here we go. Pop it up. Fast pace. Challenge yourself with the pace on this one. You can do it. Nice and easy on the feet. Keep breathing. Push through, push through. Five more seconds. We're going left side punches in two. One, here we go, just the left side. You can go as fast or as slow as you like. For me, I like to do a slower pace, but really put some strength into it. If you prefer, you can go faster, but with a little less oomph on your punch. Get ready to go to the other side. Here we go. 20 seconds here. That's it for this round. And then there's one more round coming up. Breathe through it. You got it. Throw your weight into it. Keep going. Three, two, one. Whew. Grab a water break. Catch your breather. We'll go through our next round. So up next, a little shoulder action here. We're going to go front raise, lateral raise. Now, I like to squat slightly in this one. Make a fist. Roll the shoulder blades back. And when you come up and to the side, really working through those shoulders to squeeze. Then we've got our side to side pec fly. We're going to start on the right on the first round. Following that, we've got a speed skater with a raise. So we're going to step behind with that right leg. So starting with the arms down, step behind. And when we bring that leg out, we're going to go into a raise. Step behind, raise. We're just doing the right leg first, and then we're going to switch it out to the left. All right, let's get ready here. Breathing through this. We're going into that front raise, lateral raise. So once again, I like to squat. You can stay up higher if you like. So make a fist. Roll those shoulders back. Let's start with the front raise. Front, lateral, front, lateral. If you want, add some leg movement here. 
squeezing through those shoulders. It's an explosive lift. Now on our pet flies, we're gonna start with a step over to the right side in three, two, one. Here we go, let's step right, step left. Once again, as low or as high as you like. Keep breathing here. We've got our speed skater with the raise coming up. So we're going to plant the left leg, step behind with the right, and then go straight into that raise. Ready? Here we go. So step and raise. Step and raise. That's it. The lower you go, the more challenging it is, but it's up to you how fast you go or how deep you go in that lunging position. Let's get ready to switch sides. Here we go. Switch, raise, switch, raise. That's it. Lifting through the shoulders. Cross it over, raise. Cross it over, raise. Go at your own pace. Keep breathing. We're going back to those front legs. Raise, lateral raises. Here we go. Front, lateral, run, lateral. Really pumping through the shoulder. You can do it. That's it. Stay low if you like, or up high, whatever feels right for your knees. Keep breathing. Peck flies coming up this time. We're gonna start with a step over to the left side. Here we go. Left, right, left, right. That's it. As low or as high in that knee bend as you want. Whatever feels right for your feet and knees. Keep this up. Now we're gonna go into that speed skater with the arm raise. Starting on the left leg this time. Here we go. Step behind, raise. Step behind, raise. That's it. Try to pull the shoulder blades back so that you're lifting and squeezing. Try to pull the arms next to the ears. Go as deep into that crossover as you like. Get ready for the other side. Here we go. Cross, raise, cross, raise. That's it. Last interval before we stretch it out. You got this. Keep breathing. Last five, last five. And rest. Grab a water break. Let's do a little bit of a cool down and then we're gonna stretch it out. So let's just march it out here. Nice and easy. Let that heart rate come down a little bit before we go into those stretches. Relax through those shoulders. Let your arms just sort of drop down gradually. Nice deep breaths. And place your hands on your hips. Let's go into a calf raise. Lift up and down. Squeezing through that lower leg. Just a slight bend in the knees. Chest is lifted. Shoulders are relaxed. Breathe through it. Two more here. And whew, shake it out. All right, let's go into a chest stretch. Clasp your hands behind your back and then just roll the shoulders and the elbows back. Just a gentle bend in your knees, feet shoulder width apart. The neck and chin should be in a neutral position here with your chin parallel to the floor. Just letting that heart rate come down nice and easy. And let's stretch out through the upper back. We're going to round through the upper back here, pushing the palms outward, rounding through the shoulders, giving yourself bad posture on purpose, but you're pushing your hands away from you, getting that stretch in the lats. Nice and easy here. And let's shake it out. We're gonna stretch out our sides. Palms up and just leaning over to one side. So we're pressing that arm up toward the ceiling. Nice big stretch through the side of the upper back, the lats, and the obliques, which are the muscles in the sides of the core. And over to the other side. Exhale as we move over. Breathing through this. And let's lower it down. Let's stretch out those hips. So right leg back, left leg forward. Place your hands on your hips. Gentle bend in both knees. And then push those hip bones forward. 
So you're pressing your hips forward and then just gently pull the elbows and shoulders back. You might find that as you push forward, the shoulders may have come forward as well. So let's just relax through those shoulders. Nice, easy breathing here. Letting that heart rate come down gradually after our cardio session. And just gently come up out of it. Let's switch legs over to the other side. Gentle bend in the knees, hip bones push forward. And then remember to pull the shoulders and the elbows back to relax through that upper body. So the chest stays lifted, but the shoulder blades are relaxed and down. <sighs> nice big exhale. Oftentimes when we're stretching, we have a tendency to hold our breath without realizing. So if you find that, just give yourself a nice big breathe out. And gently come up through those hips. Last stretch here, we're gonna stretch with the hamstrings. So heel down, toe up, and gently push your bum and your hips back and lean forward. Now we're gonna keep the heart above, or the head above the heart so that we keep that head lifted. So the nose should be pointing toward the wall, keeping the head up. Since we're still pretty warm from our cardio session, we want to make sure that we don't cause any dizziness by looking down or dropping the head downward. And gently come up out of it over to the other side, heel down, toe up, gentle bend in the knee, push forward through that upper body so you're pushing their chest out and pushing your bum back. And dig that heel into the floor, that's gonna help to elongate through the hamstring, getting that gentle stretch in the back of the thigh. And the thing with the hamstring stretch is that if you find there's any shakiness, just ease up a little bit. You should just feel a gentle stretch in those hamstrings. You don't have to go super deep into that stretch in order to feel the hamstring stretching. And gently come up out of it. Nice deep breath in. And exhale. And relax. We're all done for today. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.